Hi, yes, hello. Is this thing on? Hello there, folks. Hello there. We are back after taking a few days away from uh, from streaming. We are back with a brand new game. Atomic Heart has uh, actually had officially released yesterday at like 6 p.m. Eastern time, which is a little bit of an awkward release time. But all the same, uh, today is technically the release day. So we're playing it on release day. OK, OK, very good. Very good. Now, I've seen uh, very little of this game. But as always, I'll be giving you guys my my thoughts, first impressions, all that good stuff. Uh, checking out the performance of the game, checking out the gameplay. Uh, looks like uh, from what I've seen, the graphics look pretty great. So we'll see how this goes, you know, when uh, when we're in there. I'm not going to lie with all the games that have come out recently and their performance not being great. I'm fearing this is going to have bad performance, but I'm hoping that it's good. I'm hoping that it's good. Let's say hello to everyone in chat. Who do I see? I see Buddy Love, Hi Samurai, Super Jukes, Degree, Biggie, Bren, Lori Marsters, Terry Rose, Moha, Majin Kai, Jen and Mel, Ludo, Richard, Renee, Barge, Mifit Blue, Ludo Zeal, Luis, Samurai Tadpole, P Vamps Den, Redneck Ninja with the $5. Happy Gaming Gamer Juice. Hi chats. Hello there, Redneck. Thank you for the five. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. What's up, Mean Durfee? Hey, Mike Events. Hello there. Who do I see? Mr. Winterbottom, Yash, Scarecrow, Guitar Player, Kai, Miss Bradica, Cruisin, Energy74, Janet Snakehole, Evergreen. I miss you guys. What's going on? Hey, Dom, Agamemnon, Mark Mongrain, Just Jake. Francisco, DNS360, Khalid, Aurelian, hello. I missed you guys. I hope you're all doing great. I hope the last few days have treated you well. I hope you're doing wonderful. Now, as you can see, um, I do have the quality set to max across the board. Everything is all the way up. I even have DLSS on quality to see how it goes. If I need to drop it down, I will. Um... There's also a streamer mode, so I'm going to turn that on so that way my channel doesn't get any uh, copyright stuff going on. Don't want any copyright strikes or claims. Don't want that if that's avoidable, so let's do that. Hopefully it doesn't lessen the overall experience of the game. And uh, hey, let's get started, shall we? What's up, MBK? Redneck, maybe the five. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to try hard mode. We're gonna try hard mode. Let's do it. Let's get started. Let's go. Leave a like on the video if you haven't, guys. Brand new game, Atomic Hearts. Let's get started, okay? Let's get started. How was your time off? It was good. I um I just needed a few days to kind of get my mental back together. I don't know why, but my I mental took a big place. crash. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfort. Was uh alien isolation. And they were terrifying. The dang, thank you for the 20,000 IDR, man. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. Thank you so much. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Mikhail Stockhausen. Dang, thank you again for 20,000 IDR. And Lauren, thank you for four months of membership as well. Welcome back. Thank you guys very much for the kindness, the generosity. Thank you for remaining memberships and thank you for the super chats. It's I appreciate it, guys. To the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. All right, do I have control of the character? I do. Okay. So Come first things first, let's see the frame rate. Let's see it. You know what? It looks like it's ranging from 100 to 144. And I have it capped at 300. Oh, there's 99. So 99 to 144. 
Hey, that bot's actually pretty In just pretty this good. area, anyway. That's hmm. actually a pretty Did great you just start. Praise a robot? That's smooth. I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. With a thought device, comrades. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Are you getting rid of the rain clouds? Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. A thought device? Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuro connector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. Uh, all right. All right then. Sure. Scarecrow, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Happy birthday, though, dude. Let's get some happy birthdays for Scarecrow in the chat, huh? Happy birthday. Are those suction cups? Oh, yeah, those are suction cups. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Okay. Hey, you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. Charles. I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove. <laughs> oh, Power Glove. Nintendo, baby. Oh, man. This, is, this guy's got my body shape right here. That guy's got my body shape. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything over here. No? All right. How am I still alive? What do you mean, Sir Bob? What do you mean? What do you mean, man? Comrades! Hey, Screamer. Hey, Sir RFI. Oh, really, Sir RFI? Oh, well. We'll see how it goes. Discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. If even if, if even with streamer mode on, we still get copyright claims, Everyone then it is what it so is. Happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, and look at that thing. Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility thirty-eight twenty-six. I just won't get paid the ad revenue on Chinese it. I guess. Allies. I like this. It is spirit. what it is, man. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed, it is. Nice mustache, man. Nice mustache. Nice mustache. Sweep me off my feet with your mustache. I'm leaving. What's up, McDanian? How you doing, man? Enjoying the, uh... The aesthetic, the graphical prowess here is nice, and uh, it's still running very well. Comrades, the day will come when the all the planets of the solar system, the system distant all have artificial atmospheres. Right now, right Hello. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. 
the birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Why, thank you. Hey, Blue Eye, thank you for six months of membership. This is love your live streams, Josh. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, Blue. Fern, hope you're doing well. And yeah, McDanian, I'm having a good day, man. Thank you for joining us. Interesting. You just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> activate the scanner, hold left alts. Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Nobody expects. The Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> what is going on, man? She was looking pretty dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't start coming. Impressed by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am the Dimitri Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Welcome to your future. This certainly is something, isn't it? Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find the ourselves in the lobby of that high one small step away from an amazing revolutionary victory. Right. And will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. 
so glad to see you. Yeah, I'm hoping for the same, King. Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. This is a horror game. I feel like it's got the same idea of a certain level of creepiness that, like, Bioshock has, right? Where... It's not an outright horror game, but there are some things that are just downright terrifying, right? Like the synthetic voices, for example. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. All right. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all Away we go. Yeah, heavy Bioshock Infinite vibes. Yeah, that's what I'm getting as well here. The greatest invention we need? Tentacles? You okay, Zypher? <laughs> you all right, dude? What's going on, Winter? Red Faction? Yo, I love Red Faction. Literally every Red Faction game was a good time to me. I enjoyed them all. Thoughts on Borderlands 3? I didn't really like it much. The epitome of Borderlands was definitely two. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Hello, ladies. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Uppies? <laughs> Uppies? Bye. Off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built Bro's it for all down mankind, bad. not for myself. <laughs> Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Mm -hmm. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. What's up, Screamer? How's it going, man? I'm playing on hard mode, Thiago. <laughs> Could have sworn I said puppies. No, I said uppies. So far, um, very interesting. I really love the aesthetic of it, though. Just like the, uh, the alt sci-fi, like the alt universe sci-fi approach here. Achievement! 
Well, that's one hell of a cool key. Is this the full game? Yes. Ah, convertible. What the? Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Right. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling. I thought of I was driving. Yeah, I just came from one. I get city. it. The American government hey, is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. Uh, the install size was about 90 gigabytes for me. What's the point of the car? It is, uh, it's a transport unit, man. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did Imagine you Imagine the engine say? fails. Oh, I God. The signals on the fritz. Look at the clouds. anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Yeah, Wolong is going to be on Game Pass. Don't yeah. you think that may have been a bit too At least much? on Xbox. Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me. What's up, Nimrod? Is there you do have respect hey, May? for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Look at that. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? <laughs> Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? <laughs> Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. So I'm hearing all sorts of different things from chat. I'm seeing some people say that the game is hard even on normal mode, and another people saying that hard mode isn't challenging enough. Or normal mode isn't challenging enough, so hard mode's the way. I guess we'll see, huh? I guess we'll see. But as always, I'm, uh, I'm big on From Software games. I love games like Escape from Tarkov. I just love, uh, you know, Stalker. I just love naturally difficult games, so I always crank things up just to try it out. But I am also a very large critic of properly scaled hard mode. So if this game just makes the enemy spongy and nothing else, then that's not really a good way to do it. So, you know, I'll, I'll gauge it from there, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Is this from Soft? No, this is Munfish. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Damn, guys, this is actually a Outside vibe. Look at this. 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe Look at the this. granite bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic Got levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. Dude, uh, the graphics are stunning. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, 
A plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. The music being played, like the, the, the vistas that we're getting while flying around right now. <laughs> this is really great. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Damn. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Huh. Also, you have some Half-Life vibes? I'll yeah, I can kind of see that a little bit, yeah. To an end. I did Weapon Crazy. I have videos on my channel on that game. welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Drove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? Wow. For real? Your Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. I was wondering when shit was going to hit the fan. You reached your destination. You are now at the Oratory 8 of the Valley of College of Strong Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on the subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. <laughs> the elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch. That's the spirit. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Oh! Everything's fine, right? Oh, there it is. There's the title card, guys. All right. So that was um, that was a cool intro. I really like that. Kind of introducing us to the setting of this world. And then suddenly everything is just going wrong. It's killing me. Ugh. 
Okay, that's concussion, man. Okay. And my axe. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section off out. You want to repeat that one more time, bud? Okay, um, that's a chicken. Loser. All right, that's kind of toxic. My bad. Um... We got pigs and chickens all around here. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, I feel like these guys are going to be a little upset with me. Oh, I can charge this. Okay. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Hey, hey. What the hell? That chicken just pecked my leg. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, we're going for the full charge, dude. Have this one. Okay, I missed. We're gonna do it again. It's fine. Alright. Alright. Oh! Okay. You're next, friend. Okay. Yeah, I didn't forget about you. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure that chicken pecked my leg and it did some damage, so that was kind of rude of him. But I guess I deserved it after what I did to the other chicken, you know? Anyways, guys, if uh, if you haven't already, make sure you have a big like on the video. Thank you for tuning into the stream today. You're coming by to hang out with me while I check out Atomic Hearts. First impression so far, uh, graphically, very nice. Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Hey, you! I'm coming! Okay. Are you gonna attack me? Ah! Shit! Uh, get away from me! <laughs> this man's trying to give me an outhouse squirrely. What the hell? Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! <laughs> Was that a pitchfork? Oh, hell yeah, it was. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. W in the chat for Granny. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. 
If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. Oh my oh, god. god. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. <laughs> what? The what are you planning? Granny? Here we go. Granny's packing an AK. I've been asked for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, we have a weapon jam. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! What the? I wish that was my grandma, dude. What the hell? <laughs> What's up, Kawan? Hey, BD Gray. Yep, good time for a Boy, cigarette, I guess. Goddamn clusterfuck. How was your axe gold? Uh, I don't know. I just picked it up like this. No idea. Is that not normal? Small Neuromed capsule. Okay, let's heal. Nice. F? Oh my god, we speed loot. Oh, sir, I'm sorry, but you're not living. I'm not even sorry about that. I am not even sorry. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame hey, advice, what's up? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Right. We gotta go up there, it looks like. Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, I'm leaving. We can't interact with him? Okay, let's climb. A classic yellow marking to designate that it's climbable? Classic? Classic? What the hell? These old trenches? They can hear you. Oh god. Alright, maybe this is, this is a horror game. Um, oh, we're not climbing that way, are we? Okay, I found uh, the thing. Let's go open this. I have the crank, don't worry. Can you? What's up, Matt? Hey, Zeke, how you doing? Oliver, hope you're well. 
Okay, F for that guy. F for that guy. We did just get a shotgun, though. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you for the shotgun and the one shotgun shell. Very nice. Very, very good, dude. Hey, can I... Oh, okay. I, I actually can. You know, I wasn't sure, and now I know. One more time. Yep. All right. Cool. So there is dismemberment. That's definitely a thing. Safe areas. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save game machine. So already, guys, what th this is reminding me of so much of Bioshock. And, you know, I, I had a feeling it was going to do this. Uh, you know, uh, just the aesthetic alone being, you know, uh, the whole beginning where you're up in the clouds and then it has like this... This kind of like 50s alts universe sci-fi thing going on. It just really reminds me a lot of Bioshock because of this. And then the fact that there's like these manual save stations, that's really just kind of harking back to an era of gaming that's just like it's pure action adventure from a first person perspective. And I think I'm going to like this based on that. Big, big Bioshock vibes here. Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press left shift to dodge. Okay, well, I guess we'll uh, try it out. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me nice. that before? You got a lot of health, sir. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. No, I'm good, man. He didn't hit me once. We're fine. Collecting resources en masse. If there's a lot of crates in front of you, hold F in their direction and move from one to the other without releasing F. This will allow you to collect all the resources from the crates in one go. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your uh -huh. gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It uh -huh. utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird Very science, nice. huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the game has already gone full meta mode. It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Can I open these ones? These ones are not openable? All right. What's this? Ah, some reading. Order from Comrade Sechenov, Director of Facility 3826. All employees of Facility 3826, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization on June 10th, 1955. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after the procedure. Hold on, Granny Zena? I'd like to call your attention to the fact that Zeneda Murav... Moraviova, aka Granny Zena, is not allowed to enter or approach the sapling warehouse without authorization under any circumstances. Comrade Moraviova has previously taken seeds and saplings of experimental flowers back to her dwelling under the pretext of performing an inspection, then cultivated them privately. Since these plants are in early experimental stages and may have characteristics that have yet to be fully studied, this could be dangerous. P.S. Don't react to Granny Zena's rudeness. Behave yourselves. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's back out of this, shall we? How do we get out? I want out. Maybe I have to read them all first. Oh, back, off, off, off. There we go. See an enemy down there. Can I open this? Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. Okay. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it.
Interesting. Interesting. So even stealthing is like a mini game as well. You have to actually, you know, have a quick time event, which, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of quick time events, but I think in that instance, it's okay. It's all right. Let me just loot everything here. Anything that is lootable anyway. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Glove. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already okay. been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Um... Let's try this again. It's not showing what I need to do to rotate it. Like it says action is left mouse button, but I see nothing for rotating it. And then using all these buttons here doesn't really do anything. All right, maybe I just can't do it yet. Maybe I need it to teach me. Anyways, I see this robot up here. Let's see if we can stealth it. You see me? Are you seeing me? You are seeing me. Ow. Stop it. One at a time, man. I like that you can see the damage that you've done to them, though. That's nice. Come here. Come here. Oh, I got stuck on the wall. Come here. Ooh, nice dodge. Nice. All right, so I took a, a couple hits there. I got stuck on this thing. That wasn't great. All right, give me your insides. Where Where's the other one? There you are. There you are. Splicers? Oh, no, dude. How does the combat feel? It's pretty reactive. Yeah, it's pretty reactive. It doesn't feel like it's... Oh my god, unbalanced at all. Oh, I didn't mean to heal there. Wrong button. Come here, man. You're gonna get the big hits. The big Damn, one. Why is everything locked here? The emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic Me. lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule ah, containing glove. the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Critics are giving it a mint rating. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that um, I, I feel like if you, in, if you enjoy this type of game in general, then you're going to like this one too. At least so far. Something's I know we're very wrong. early on. We're, we've not, we're not oh, even an hour shit. in yet. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? 
Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. What the? Larissa! What? Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Alright, we got a bit of a boss fight here. Thank you for the gifted membership to the community, man. I really appreciate it. Let's see those cult emotes out there for the new member. Thank you so much, Matt. Really appreciate the kindness, dude. <laughs> Ow. Look at this guy. Boom. Big. <laughs> Okay, I walked right into that one. Oh. <sighs> Terminated. Ooh. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Did he kill Larissa already? Did she die there? I saw the other guy die, but did Larissa die there? Yeah, I am playing on PC. Is it one of those games where everyone dies you meet? Um, I mean, I'm not even an hour in, so I can't really say. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. Okay. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your finger. It worked. <laughs> so we just have to snap our fingers using left click every time one of those nodes lights up red, and then it will go away. It'll, like, close it. Interesting. Oh my God. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Hey. What the fuck? Fuck me! What oh, is happening? Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. <laughs> okay. Alright, just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! 
I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? Whoa. More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. <laughs> okay. So we had to, uh, we had to overpower it so that way we could learn new skills. All right. Uh, let's see. Choose a skill. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Switch to crafting. Oh, how can I resist? Choose upgrades. Now let me show you what I can do. Oh. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. <laughs> Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade <laughs> weapons <laughs> and equipment, shit. as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> wow. But I okay. can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. All right, that was um, that was a lot to take in, chat. That was a lot to take shit take in, but uh, hey, we did it. Uh, we got we got through this together. Now, let me see about actual upgrades here. Now that that's done, I want to actually look these over. I've got thirty four neuropolymer. Can I do anything with this? Yeah, I can get that. That's cost thirty two. Electrization shock electrifies enemies. Do I have to get these in order? Is that how this works? Let me get electrization. Electrization. Oh wow, there's there's all these different trees. Oh my god, okay. We definitely have to look these over. For now we go. Let's save again. Okay. We go on. That was utterly hilarious. Oh my god. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. I've got a shotgun. 
Man, that ADS time is so low. Holy. Matt, thank you again for the gifted membership to uh, Ian Carlson, by the way. I appreciate it. And Cruising, thank you for the $2. And to take a shower after that? I think we all do. I think we could all collectively use a cold shower. Yeah. Yeah. Looking around, see if there's any like resources and stuff. Uh, We've got this. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, the bad jokes already. Find the key to the admin service room. Jump. Gen X monk. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you for ten months There's of membership here. Welcome back. Camera up ahead. Welcome back. Us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. I sent a blank message. Whoops. I hope you're doing well, man. All the same. Thank you for 10 months in cruise and thank you for the two spot. Guys, do me a favor. If you haven't already, we are f less than 50 likes away from 300. We got a lot of people here. If you haven't hit the like button yet, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Dandelion CCTV cameras. Facility is equipped with security cameras. On spotting the player, they raise a level one alarm and summon all nearby robots. If the player is seen fighting the robots, the alarm is escalated to level two, which means calling in reinforcements. You can distract the CCTV camera by throwing an object elsewhere or temporarily disable it using shock. Okay, but uh, how the hell do I shock again? Is it V? It is V. You can see the cooldown in the bottom middle of the screen. I feel like this is going to be one of those games where I'm just going to want to check every corner for resources, but also just kind of look around at all the art and stuff everywhere, you know? Jeez, man. Telekinetic throw, pick up an item, hold, and then release F to throw it, hold, and then release F. Okay. Matt, thank you for the two. Hit like to help Juice resist the horny fridge. Yeah, that was wild, wasn't it? Great, Major. You said you knew how to avoid the camera. I expected oh. more subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. Okay, two shots with the shotgun to the head takes them out. How about hip fire, though? Okay, hip fire is a little less accurate, but three shots there did the job. Hey, can you just stop? So the camera was looking at that body. I thought I was okay to pass this way. That's why I did that. It is what it is. Thank you for the two, Matt. This game is already so crazy. the circuit breaker now yep but i'm just gonna have a look around first i need some parts to upgrade my weapon i won't get far with this pile of shit i wouldn't dream of stopping you smart move charles smart move <laughs> okay all right nothing in there don't you dare see me so you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then hey, why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms, 
that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the loot system. I like how you can just kind of hold F and just like interact with things in the world. Interesting. So far, so good with this game, guys. I am enjoying my time here. I am enjoying my time here. Okay, the shock has a... Small range. Noted. Just waiting for it to come back so I can shock the camera and then move along. All right, we got to get back to that admin door. I don't know. The way uh, the way the, the gun seems to handle it reminds me of like an old school FPS. Like it feels like... Oh, just the way the, like, how smooth it handles, it just seems very... I don't, I, I, old is not the right, right word. Arcadey is the right word. It feels very arcadey on the gun controls. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? <laughs> What's up, Iron? How you doing, man? This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. Congratulations on your promotion. Comrade Vishnevskaya. Vishnevskaya, regarding your question about the functionality of the beam decoder, this bulky system is a passive security device. Yes, as you correctly remarked, any child could operate it. But while this child of yours is enter entering combinations, a signal is sent to the security panel and the guard on duty can stop any unauthorized actions. Whereas in an emergency, it can be operated by an untrained employee. Also, due to software limitations, robots cannot control the beam encoder, or beam decoder rather, which reduces the amount, reduces the chance of an error in the event of a robot malfunction. Does that answer your question? So I do like the effect they have on the text here. If you guys can see it on your side, it, it may make it look like a, like a malfunctioning monitor, right? Based on how it's like, a, it's projected holographically, but it really messes with my eyes in a weird way. It's, it's very strange. Code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Okay. Um, decipher it using logic. Passive security relay. Unlock the passive security relay's functionality by putting the magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Okay. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. We do this. We drop this down here. We basically just need to get the yeah, blue line the right there. On. Let's head back. All right. So already they've introduced a couple different puzzles. Well, ride the one? elevator to the I hall. I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Yeah. Okay. Left we go. Um, it's not working. Oh, this one works. All right. 
I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. <laughs> How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. Could be DLSS artifacts. No, it's not. It's you. not. You can make things easier by that. Very specifically, off it, you, you can tell the difference between like the DLSS artifacts and then the graphical idea of what they have going on there. Dashing while jumping. Tap left shift while jumping to make an additional leap while in the air. Oh god. Alright. We got it. Wants me to go that way, so let's check out this way first. As we do. Yeah, so you can see this one, uh... This one would have came to the same spot. Actually, it looks like it's not... Well, there we go. So they both come to the same room, just like down below. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are. Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. How dare you? I mean, you got anything in your pockets? I'm just, just searching pockets. Searching pockets and cabinets and desk drawers. Anything else you got for me? Man, even the drawers all the way down there can open. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good now. Never mind, we're not good. We're getting all the materials. Wait, this opens too? Oh, hey. What's this? What's, what's all this then? Let's just sit on the floor and watch some cartoons with our axe. Wonder what the runtime on is. Or what the runtime on this is, rather. We spin. Now let me open up this. Let's save. We have no um no lewd refrigerator in here. I'm going the wrong way, guys. Hey, much love to you too, Chris. Thank you for joining me. Saturday morning again. I know. Reliving if the old times, recall, man. you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me. Please continue. <laughs> Combat shock. Use shock on, on enemies to stop them in the tracks or even kill them. Who wants the zap? Who wants the zap? I'll tell you what, one of you is going to get the shotgun first. Well, maybe I can stealth one of them. It's too bad I can't lean to the right. Okay, did you see me and you're just not sure if you saw me or what's going on here? Uh-oh. Okay. Smash! Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I'm stuck! No! No! Oh, he got me. I got pinned in the corner, man. Yeah, I saw Lies of P comes out in August, and it's going to be on Game Pass. I was actually talking about that in Discord yesterday, which means if you haven't joined up with Discord, guys, make sure you do. Exclamation mark Discord in chat. Join up on the Discord. You're missing out on a lot of conversation, even when we're not live on stream. No! Oh, what is this quick time in combat? Okay, dude. I don't like that. If 
that one. Come on. No lasers. You don't have Discord? It's free. Everyone can join up. It's both on mobile and browser, and it has an app. It's so low, uh, so low cost to run that it's even runnable on browsers. So if, you're, if your PC can handle a browser, it can handle Discord. Come here. Do you finish a game regardless of how bad it is? No. If I'm not having fun with it, then I don't continue to play it. What's this? Got some strong glass. Did I miss anything back here? I did not. It's pretty linear. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. Which cable car? This one? That one's not looking very functional, man. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. That thing almost hit me. It's so peaceful. What the? Well, uh, I see this down here, so let me just see if there's anything going on. Any items or anything? Ah, you see? You see, guys? You gotta explore a little. All right, we are in the polymer. All right. Whose goal was that? Ours? I mean, lots of books, but this. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How? There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh. It'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Alright. Let's see. Will I play Redfall? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out, Tyler. Um... They specifically uh, have said that the game is that? completely solo capable, so that, like, at first I was very concerned because I didn't think that was possible, but it turns out it is. Fuck me, he's alive. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Wait, what? They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have we frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Is currently the only one of its kind, but in seven or eight years... The, the schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station monster has it. Icarus is didn't make it. Wasn't as fast as me. Die. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. You'll be free to hover over the shore one day and the next. Enjoy a beautiful mountain. Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. Will be Moscow too. 
Maybe I should have said thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet, so they remain connected with the neuropolymer. Wild. Wild. Oh, here's one of these uh, refrigerators. Oh, let's uh, let's let's do something here. Blueprint unlocked. Swede handle. Okay. Access granted. Swede handle. Uh, let's see. Upgrade. Swede. Ergonomic handle. Accelerates special attack recharge. Increases energy bonus. But a doop. Cartridge module. Unlocks a cartridge slot. Installation of a cartridge module allows you the application of a thin layer of special chemical polymer to the weapon's blade, giving it additional properties when it comes in contact with the enemy. All right. Let's try it out. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to this as well. The powerful chopping blow. I just, I just like it more right now. Remove an upgrade. You get the resources back. You sure? Oh, that's great news. I like crushing blow more. And then superconducting impact module. Increase energy bonus. Sure. Sure. Why not, man? Hey, Ollie Z, what's up? Hold on, let's make a safe. Saving data. Let's make a safe. Uh, okay, and now... Can I make this jump? Uh, we gotta do this for science. Nope. No, we cannot. The science failed. But hey, we have to try, right? You don't know until you know. And now we know. That's why we make saves, guys. That's why we make saves. Need to find the schematic. Yes, the schematic. Need to find a schematic. Um... That's already a dead end, we know that, so I guess we have to go follow the main path here. But also... Not seeing any indication as to what Station this could possibly be. At least right here, anyway. Did you actually finish Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, I streamed the whole playthrough, man. And did I like it? Yes. There it is. Ah, I see it. Look at that. You see that? I can't actually pick it up. One, two, three, four. All right. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. Hey, hold on. As it fades away, Did I miss something? neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk? Never mind. I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Got him. Got him. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your We are ticket. ready to depart. Sorry. No ticket. Nine. Yeah, I played Forspoken. I streamed that as well. Completed the game Seven. in three days. I had a good Six. enough time with it, but it wasn't amazing. We go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. You gotta play this game? It's been a blast already, man. The big thing is the performance. This has got to be the best performing game released in a little bit. Aside from, like, Dead Space. Like, you can see my frames in the top right of the screen right now. Oh my god. Oh. 
what you didn't mean though like my, my the game's performance it is great it's really good Shit. hey guys careful there's a gap up ahead i see it we need to find a way to move forward but frankly i'm having trouble figuring out how climbing the wall that's how do you have mountaineering training i'm a spec ops soldier not some city wuss riding a desk i've got all kinds of training i must admit i'm quite glad to hear that i missed the big hit ah i'm trapped get out of here yeah Okay, well, uh, this was wild. Continue the search for Victor. Do we go down? I'm assuming we go down. Those things will chop me in half if I go up that way. So let's go this way, shall we? Then again, that looks like uh, impassable. And then maybe we have to parkour our way over. Ooh, we got a parkour. How's the game so far? It's been a blast. Time. You should get out of the way. I'm sorry. Hold on. I can climb this pipe. Overcoming vertical obstacles, tap space and W near a pipe or similar object to latch on and start moving up or down it. Yeah, it's all right, Veritas. Yeah. Time to shimmy. Any shimmyers in chat? Any shimmyers? We are shimmying. There's the oh, tentacle again. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Uh. That was a Barav, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our involved oh. economy. Okay, um... I was just looking around and then I got hit by the thing. <laughs> okay. Alright. So far so good, Eric. Thanks for joining the stream, man. Yeah, jiggling. We jiggling. We need to find oh a way god, to I'm gonna fight forward. again. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? Oh, I'm gonna Stand fall. Up, soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Oh, good follow. Come on down. No, I need you to... You actually hit me. That's rude. Okay. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. No use of guns yet? No, there is guns. There's just limited resources. Like, I have a shotgun, but I, I only have a total of nine rounds right now. So I have to use it pretty sparingly. Yeah, I am on the hardest difficulty, yeah? You play near? I did. Yeah. Holy shit. That was a surprise. Oh, son of a bitch. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I actually rather like near. I wouldn't survive without him.
Uh, Mikhailovsky, the game is good so far. I'm having a good time. Graphically, it's great. Uh, the performance is very smooth. The near anime is good too. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I know, Zeke. I know. Charles, my resources go Rob, towards right? a lot of different stuff, me, though. So I'm just trying to, you know. Rob's can drill oh, the there it is. At incredible speed. I was Soviet waiting for it. Has high hopes in regard to our inevitable conquest what of all the, the hell the solar just happened? Oh, hey, it's one of you guys. What are you doing here? I keep hitting X on accident. Oh, wow. Okay, this guy's tough. This guy's tough. How far back is that going to send me? Damn, again? Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I'm stuck again. <laughs> What's up, Jack? Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out Come how to climb in the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Okay, I'm stuck, dude. I keep getting stuck on things, man. That's so annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to like dodge, but I can't go a certain direction because I'm stuck on debris somewhere. Thought you would like the shotgun, I guess not. No, the storm, the shotgun's fine. I just have very limited ammo and I'm trying to hold on to it for tougher enemies. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. You need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some CEO riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. No, I didn't want to do that. It's fine. It's fine, man. It's fine, man. Yeah, part of hard difficulty is having a lot less resources. That's what it said right at the beginning. So it just kind of is the way it is. Hey, thank you, Ollie Z. I appreciate that, man. All right, that, that was really awkward. Shit. That's not what I wanted at all. That was a Come on. surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Your motion blur turned on? No. Gotta take my time with these jumps, too. Keep messing it up. Guys, keep the chat English, please. I appreciate it. No, obviously not, Terry. I just didn't catch it at that time, man. Charles, that 
was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Now, just because I don't see something instantly doesn't mean that it gets a pass, man. Like, <laughs> let's, let's not take it there, okay? That guy had a lot of health. That guy... want to have more make more if you want to make more learn more okay the irony comrade i took such good care of those wonderful powerful brilliantly designed cheese oh okay now, Terry. i didn't see that you were joking oh, all right my mistake talking about the yeah vector it's a good time so far man product my shame did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad comrade Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting out city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground, and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subway is hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tag's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge sites. What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous. Hey, can Hodo. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Barov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, taking God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of now does. You worked on the Barafs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. Mm-hmm. Okay, Gek, there is no problem. Relax, dude. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to talk to you again. No. Quiet. Better run. Bye. Sorry. I gotta run. Bye. Sorry. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, I am enjoying the game so far, guys. Yeah, it's a good time. Man, do so I far. love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. I feel like I'm gonna die. Um. <laughs> I'm stuck, man. 
Okay. All right. Come on. I need to not get stuck on these wires. Thanks. Great. Cool. Sick. Dope. Nice. Awesome. Hey, Getting run over again. This is my stop. What a nice trip. God damn it, man. Take left to right while walking. Yeah, see, Jeremy, I was trying to do that, but there was obstacles in the way making it maybe making me unable to do that. There was wires and other stuff on the ground making it so I couldn't move in that way. <laughs> That's why that happens. <laughs> Fading data. Okay, we are saved. wall that's some serious security people put them up for a reason if you see one that means there's something important on the other side quite right comrade major the distribution center we're looking for is in fact on the other side there's no way i'm making it through a laser wall in one piece there's a repair vendor up ahead try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance not a pervy lunatic fridge <laughs> pervy lunatic fridge oh no hey echelon lore so far man i um i can't uh, <laughs> i can't explain the lore over and over again to everyone so what i need you to do is if you really want if you're really curious you can go back to the beginning of the video and watch from the starts otherwise i'll just ca i'll just be caught up saying the same stuff over and over again you know what i mean no offense to you or anyone else it's just a matter of trying to not say the same things over and over again laser protection oh so brutal i'm shaking squirt your polymer inside me don't let her boss you around we have no time to waste don't listen to him big guy he wants to drive us apart take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever i see do you want me to punch you or tear you apart all right i get it you'll get your polymer and your precious components just install the laser protection already whatever you say stud upgrade initiated Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. <laughs> Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. <laughs> no shit, man. Okay, hold on. Let me, um... Let me look at some actual upgrades here while we're here. Okay. This is a headphones only kind of game. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the stuff that's set on my channel isn't exactly, you know, safe for work anyway. That's nothing new here. That's nothing new here. Maybe it's not this extreme, but it certainly isn't something foreign to my channel. We got 53 polymer. 53. Spray targets and surface with a jet of combat polymer. Once applied, combat polymer can be set on fire, electrified, or frozen, dealing damage to the corresponding type of affected enemies. Hmm. Sure, we'll try it. Throw that on E. And what's this one? 23 upgrades the polymeric jet's pressure chamber, increasing the max range. Sure, let's try that out too. Just so we can kind of, like, if we use the jet and then shock, I wonder if it'll do, like, a increase in spike damage. Polymeric jet. Use polymer to enhance the effects of freezing, fire, and electricity. Apply polymer to a surface or pour it directly on your enemies. Crap. That hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... Are you 
Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, God, there's so many of you. I gotta go. I gotta go for a minute, okay? I need to heal up again. Hold this for me, would ya? Oh, I missed. Looks like it continues to do a lot of shock damage even when, uh, like even after like a little bit of time passed there because the polymer it just kept applying more more electric damage there. That was He's good. Pretty good at ordering good. those robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. So the play is definitely to take out one target, like at least one target with the shotgun just to minimize their numbers. And then I can just use like polymer and then elemental stuff to apply damage to another one and then just full on melee the last. Okay. I think we got everything down here. Let's go up. Right. So that was just, <laughs> just kind of popped out of there. Okay. Some metal parts out of them. Oh, there you are. Come over here. Get the zap. You see how it continues to do electric damage because of the polymer on it? That's actually pretty great. That's actually pretty nice. Looks like there's like five of them inside this one. So every time you zap it, more come out. Good way to farm resources, I guess. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental Hey, Eric. Model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Edward. How's it going, dudes?
Uh, yeah, guys, I, I appreciate everyone just kind of leaving their political comments out of chat. This is, uh, this, this is video games. The, okay, this is, this is video games. Nothing more. All right. A television. Ball. So, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Preston. Hey, Vinny. What's up, guys? Do we have to snap fingers? We do. Gotta snap fingers. Now we go through here. We got everything in that room. We need to bring this all the way over that side. Matt, thank you for the $2 super chat. Vote for Nora for president. True, Repu <laughs> true public servant. Yeah, true something, man. True something. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the two, man. All right, let's scan. Looks like I missed something here. Thank you. Now, there's some stuff over there, too, we can go uh, take a look at really fast. Well, you know what? Hold on, let me see this real quick. Can I take this out of the wall? Is it too late? Ah, it's not too late. It's not too late. Yeah, Elizabeth, there's a lot of Bioshock vibes with this. Like, just even just the basic gameplay, but also uh, reminds me a lot of Infinite specifically. What did that do for me? Oh, you know what? There's a second one here. Okay. I think I'm going to have to go through this door and then come back in this room. Maybe we'll get a second one and we can do whatever that is. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Okay, so it's just a temporary thing. Just a temporary disable. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm through there. The hell was that? That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Uh, essentially, John, but um, there's one guy specifically that's behind the turn. This Petrov guy. Gray Kyle, thank you for the $2. What does it cost to leave a like on the stream? Uh, not $2. Likes are free. <laughs> but thank you for the two, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the two. It's very nice of you. Oh, yeah. 
These things scare me. It looks like there was a container. Oh, I need that. Algae workshop. I need that right here. Materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Yeah, I'm gonna need that so I can actually get up there. Off the zap it next time it comes by. The zap didn't work. Am I in the path here? No, okay. We're good. Um Is this good enough? It's not good enough. I gotta zap it a little sooner. All right, now that I'm on it, we should just be able to zoom around with it and then make that jump next time we swing by. May, thank you for five gifted members to the community. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Tap left shoulder while jumping to make an additional leap in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's that one there. Okay, this this is stuttering when I do this. I think it's because I'm contacting the uh, thing itself. Oh, I missed it. May, thank you so much for the five gifted members to the community. I really appreciate it. Incredibly nice. Thank you. Truly appreciate it so much. I gotta wait for the thing to be low so I can actually make the jump, too. Of course, maybe I could just do this. Yep. Okay, that was a much easier way to do it. For so long. Thank you so much, May. Let's see those cult emotes out there for the new non-cult members, yeah? Thank you. Oh shoot, wrong, wrong, wrong time. Now you're still taking electric damage, so that's fine by me. Okay, I'm getting clobbered here. stuck, bud? Yeah, you're a little stuck. You're a little stuck. Jen, they give you the $2. Like stream with $2? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jen, thank you for the two. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you very much for the kindness. I think that camera spotted this me. Is the lunar. What the... Kind of It'll open once all the holes have canisters of soil in them. You egghead sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Yes, I'll go find some canisters. That's a home run right there, fellas. trying to uh cut me up with their blades i don't appreciate that right what's in the box it's a weird song but i like the girl's voice is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Let this be the only Professor ice between Levin us. Of the Academy of Consequences. Oh, As so nice. So wholesome. The principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing uh -huh. is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Screamer, thank you for the $10, man. Nah, he said you don't have to pay like Jen. Duh. Wait. <laughs> Screamer, thank you for the $10 super chat, dude. And Jen with the $10 super chat as well. Oh, snap. Thanks, Screamer, for letting me know. 
You guys are something else. Thank you for the, the $10, Jen and Screamer. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the kindness. seems to be fish in the polymer. Works for you. What the heck? The other agent is what the heck? Blueprint unlocked. Electro. Right? Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, oh God. Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I do you like it, sugar. Instead of bullets, energy weapons consume your gloves' energy through a cable. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? God, this is fucking crazy. Okay, so this gun has uh, infinite ammo, but you can see the energy on the bottom right. I just wasted so much of it. Looks like it slowly, very, very slowly recharges, though, so there is that. Uh, let me catch up on things here, guys. Mel, think of the $20 to reiterate, totally free. Yes, Mel, totally free. As you send $20. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Matt, with 10 months, nothing, not even a priceless like on the stream is worth as much as Nora's boiling hot love. Yeah, she's something else, isn't she? She's something else, dude. <laughs> I'm not even sure Charles. how to handle this right now. Thank what you for the 10 months, dude. And Jen with the $5, Mel showing off her knowledge like that. Him. I know, right? Why would he even need Thank you for the 5, Jen. Mel, thank you for 20. Matt, thank you for 10 months of membership. That employees I appreciate it very much, guys. Thank you for all of it. Themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him thank by you so accident much. and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Hold on. Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. Hey, Fafnir, um, hey, Josh, any words of encouragement? I'm not doing great mentally and could use some encouragement. So listen, man, um, I had a little bit of a crash with my mental a few days ago, and I've just, uh, I've just kind of took some time away from everything and kind of put myself back together, just kind of rested up, you know what I mean? So I would say if it's possible for you, try to separate yourself from whatever it is that's getting there you down is. right now, right? Just kind of... Take it easy for a couple days. That, like that alone can help you kind of recharge your batteries. 
but also something else I always keep in mind, something that helped me ever since I was very young was the, uh, the phrase, it's a bad day, not a bad life. So while it may not be a great day for you, it may not even be a great week, month, or even years, but it doesn't mean it's a bad life, right? Everyone has their ups and downs. Everyone has their ebb and flow, their peaks and valleys. It's up to you to break yourself out of that though. Only you can do it. And so that alone means that no matter what's going on, you do have to carry on. You have to, you just have to find a way to fight your way out of whatever it is that's got you down, man. It's not going to be easy. It's never easy and I'll never say it's going to be easy because it's not. Life can be very hard, dude. But the fact of the matter is, is you as a human have the power Obviously, to get through it. the last canister has to be lodged deep in the universe's quantum asshole. Does this stuff happen to everyone or just me? So if you need to take your, you know, take some time for a few days, just kind of lay low, get yourself back together. And then after that few days, you, you, you get back on the offensive in life. You take back control of what's going on. Now I've got one. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Holy heck, guys. Mel. Hold on. Hold on. Mel, thank you for the $5. Just wondering why Jen didn't tell us they put her in this game. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Oh, this place is huge. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars, Mel. Jen with the five says, "I was under NDA." Okay, I mean that's fair. NDAs are NDAs, man. You gotta abide by the rules. And Matt, they give you the two dollars as well. Jen was born to play the role of Nora. Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's like that—that's one risque role. Thank you, Mel, Jen, and Matt. I appreciate the generosity, guys means a lot thank you heads up visit the nor repair vendor often and don't forget to learn active skills and upgrade your weapons to complete missions as effect efficiently as possible words got such name written all over it so where are we bro this you are completely fried the heart of the Vavilov complex samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and now i wonder if i apply and a polymer if that increases the damage forever. they take I'll have to try that. Maybe it'll even like hardcore shock them. Thank you all so much for the kindness. I really appreciate it, guys. Very kind of you all. Hey, bud, you good? Hey, Overkill. Much love to you, Fafner. Much love to you, dude. Crispy critters. They're most oh, certainly Jesus. crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank hall. Sample container integrity compromised. Okay, well. Goes. Hey, you, come here. Oh. Well, the polymer just weighted down. <laughs> that was kind of cool. No. Jamming. Mm. 
No, I feel like if uh, these hit me, they'll I'll just straight up die. Stop it. Um, looks like nothing really interesting happening back here. Can't open that. Yes, I am playing on PC. Oh yeah, the polymer absolutely increases the damage they take. That's good news. Don't... Son of a bitch, dude. Shit, I am so dead. I'm stuck. Man, they pin you against the wall every time. That's crazy. What's up, Dustin? You know, Matt, I was thinking that too, man. I was thinking that too. This is an open world game. Uh, it's pretty linear to me so far, Gonk. Hey, how you doing? Charles, no time for this! Right. Are you trying to rebuild it? Stop that. Did it just electrify itself because of that? Yeah, it's all electrified there. Look at that. Interesting. Interesting. Now, we don't want that thing to see me because the last time it saw me, shit really hit the fan. Let me top off my health while we're at it. Hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we really focus on one enemy with that type of stuff, we can really kill him quickly. Oh, where's this camera? Just right here. Hey, bud. Gun was fresh out of power, man. Fresh out. All right, well, we like when the camera doesn't see us. That's nice. So the goosh you shoot at enemies, electromagnetic. It's uh, it's called polymer. It amplifies all elemental damage. Electric, fire, and what was the other one, guys? I can't remember what the other one was. But any, basically any elemental damage that they take, it just amplifies it. Hey, Kevin, how you doing, man? Yeah, we call it polymer. Okay, guys, we call it polymer. Like the dialogue of the character so far? Yeah, yeah, it's certainly not awful by any means. Emergency damage control systems malfunction. Critical security system failure. 
Oh, I can't help but think that I can get down there and get something. Oh, there's that right there. Okay, I can't reach that from here. What am I to do to get back up there? I didn't think about the return trip. I didn't consider that part. Oh god, I'm falling. Stop. Stop it. Dude, up. Uppies. Why can't I... There we go. Okay, we're not going to make that either. Nope. Can't, can't actually grip that. Can I grip this? I can. Okay. All right. Working our way over here. Nice one. There's a chest right there, too. Anyway, into the polymer we go. Leads us. Neat. Ah. There's that chest. There's this. Okay, let's uh, let's talk to Nora. KS-23, electromagnetic barrel. Ooh. So, so be, this Major? shotgun is a KS-23. That's cool. Electromagnetic barrel for the KS-23, you say? You get a Poshtat. Zvedjokva. Vezdokja? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Snowball. MP. Kalash. That's an AK. Dominator. Fat boy, railgun, railgun, big. Anyway, um, upgrade this guy. Barrel, electromagnetic polarizer, increased damage to robots, increases damage, increased rate of fire. Cartridge module and unlocks a cartridge slots. I didn't realize that we had all these other upgrades for this already. See on map? You just see where these upgrades are? Okay, this map is strange though. All right, so, um, how about this guy? All right, we got that. Polymer rheostat. Decrease energy expenditure. Obviously, yes. Oh, I don't have enough resources. I need one more of these. One more chemistry. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? I'm to upgrade Charles. Let's see. Frostbites. Let's see. We got 54 neuropolymer. Increase max health for limited time. You can survive. Okay, we already have this stuff. Photon sync increases suits laser resistance. Excellent physical ability grants you an additional dodge charge. Ooh, that's big. Element un unavailable. Do I need to get this first? I do. I find this tree a little difficult to read. Because it looks just like this, and we already have this, and now we just unlock that. So I guess after that, we can go get the extra dodge. The extra dodge would be very nice. 
Weapon ergonomics. Use energy weapons, guns, and melee weapons wisely in order to allocate your resources efficiently. All right. All right, your boy Josh needs more chemistry. Give me your chemistry right now. Um, that's not what I requested, sir. Oh God, what's happening? Too much. We're falling down. That's what's happening. I panicked. Well, um. I didn't want to fall down here, but ultimately it's fine, I guess. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, that's a gun. Overcoming obstacles. Objects you can grab onto are highlighted in yellow. Okay, thank you. Nice. Give to me your resources. You know, I was going to sneak up on that guy and then I just didn't see this camera. Can I just break this camera though? Is that? I can break the cameras, but it does send out alerts. Uh-huh. Let's not get smacked by this guy. I found a chemistry. Nice. Okay, I see what's happening here. Every time you snap, it goes the opposite direction. Gotcha. Jerk. Okay, so... Oh, what the hell? Anyway, uh, we're going back up, okay? Can I hit it with the... What the missiles? Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? You're gonna hurt someone with that, man. Okay, well, I guess falling down hurts too, so it is what it is. Do you not see me? I guess he lost track of me. Let's get that stealth kill then. Oh shoot, he saw me. He turned last second to see me, that sucks. But wait, there's more. Is it good so far? I'm having a good time with it. Uh, I think the best way I can put this is if you enjoyed Bioshock, then you'll likely enjoy this. Because that's what that's the vibe this game is still giving me a couple hours in now. Okay, this is new. Okay, rotate with this. Change with that. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Thank you. 
Oh, I can already tell you that specific type of puzzle is going to send me for many loops. That one's a little more complex. But yeah, I think if uh, I think if you enjoy Bioshock, you'll enjoy this. This is very much so along that same line. That guy's over there making noises, confusing me and stuff. All right, I'm going backwards now. So I just basically opened up a door that leads me back this way. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Charge it, clobber him. What the laser beams, man? Oh, I just got drop kicked. Jesus, dude. This guy has the drop kick of justice on his side. What the hell was even that? Any performance issues? No. Um, in fact, like I can turn on my frame rate for a while if you'd like to see. You see in the top right corner, I'm playing in 1440p and you can see my PC specs by typing exclamation mark specs if you would like. But the game runs extremely well extremely well. I love it. There. Done with you. May, you have a great night. You have a great, great night. Thank you for hanging out with us today. It's cool to see you again. It is Southern. It is very cool. Back down here. You hit 35,000 35, no subscribers. Congrats. Did I? Thank you, you for letting me know. And also, thank you for the kind words. Oh, yeah, we certainly did. Big. Big. Okay, so we got that one there. I need to put this here and then... Oh no, it skips a beat there. There we go. I think that's just because it's 60 FPS on screen, Dan. Because on my side, there is no motion blur at all. Like zero, zilch, none. So maybe it's just the 60 FPS that's tripping you up? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, oh, there's the other ball. According to biometric readings, this is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. 
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Thanks, Storm. Alright, we have to get the canisters from Hot Workshop, Algae Workshop, Pesticide Workshop, and a canister from the Cold it, Workshop as well. Activated a system that provides special polymers to the Birch Tree Life Support System. The Life Support System has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Okay, so... The weapon handling in this is actually really interesting. So you guys see how there's a bit of an ergonomics effect, right? When you go to pull up the weapon, based on the actual weight of the weapon, it has like a different speed to maximizing the accuracy of ADS. This is this pistol, self snappy that is, how quick. I watch the shotgun, so much slower because it's a, got a longer barrel to it and it's a heavier weapon, it's a lot slower in general. That's really cool, right? But also, you see how when I strafe left and right, you'll see that the character leans a little bit into it as well. And it also tilts in that direction to where it messes with actually lining up the iron sights. You see that? That's actually really well done. It's small details like this that can really amplify the experience of first person shooter gameplay. There's not a lot of games that do this. That's really cool. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Tarkov vibes, Am exactly. To crispy Tarkov vibes. No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within Electro the shop EMP itself generator. Is so, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, there's the robot with my body shape. Look at him. What's this then? Okay, even when I'm not ADS, you can see how the weapon is like leaning to the right and left as I strafe. Granted that the crosshairs don't bob and weave, right? But still, it's a, it's a cool effect to see instead of it just being like stiff, you know? All right, as always, I like to read this stuff like at the end of my playthrough myself, but I will uh, go ahead and scroll through these every time I find them. So that way you can like read through it yourself if you would like to. You can just pause the video. That way you can see those. I just like to read lore in like one big fell swoop. So what, what, what I like to do is like I'll watch my videos back and like look around uh, for those moments. It's hot as balls in here. 
You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen. Oh, that hurts. I'm dying. Ooh. Uh, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. What's this then? PM ammo. As in the PM handgun. Cool. Little 9x18 handgun. Um, this is where I was a few moments ago, right? That just did something. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, find a way to the boiler room. Check, but I'm lazy. You got, you got some Tarkov gameplay in your library. Uh, I have some like older videos like that I made when I was playing a lot of Tarkov when I was streaming on Twitch. But I don't have any like full on raids or anything like that. I have been toying around with the idea with making a Tarkov specific channel as a side project, though. Just kind of upload full raids to the channel, you know, thinking about that. Any suggestion on Elden Ring lore where I can read through all of it? The best way to do it, Thomas, is just load up Elden Ring and read the lore on all the items that you get. Well, there's also a lot of channels out there that uh, can help out with that. I believe Vati Vidya is a more popular one that people watch. He basically will uh, discuss all the lore of the game and how the implications of it and how they all relate. Oh, hey, that's where that goes. Got it. Hey guys, have you left a like on the video? Have you? I'm just saying. Hey, if you haven't left a like on the video yet, it would be mighty killer if you would. Oh. Okay, so it looks like if you land enough of the polymer on a single target, it'll do devastating damage. You see that? Does it hurt me? It does. It does hurt me as well. Noted. Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. These guys aren't even aggressive. I guess they've been kind of damaged by the situation down here, huh? get into the pipe. Okay, I found the opening. You know, the way the music is playing in this game, it reminds me of Deathloop as well. Any of you guys ever played Deathloop? What a great game that is, too. It's by Arcane Studios, the same people that make um, the Dishonored games. If you enjoy Dishonored, you'll like that game as well. It's, uh, it's a very good game. Very special, very unique. Definitely worth the, uh, the playthrough. 
It's something that it, the way the game works, it's not easy to figure out. It doesn't really... Uh, yeah, it's hard to explain. It's like a, it's like a roguelike FPS combo with a very interesting story to it all. Ugh. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? All right, we already did this one, right? Yeah, it's not. Okay, hold on. All right, it's refusing that one. We gotta find some others. Wait, hold on. Can I just... Ah. I see. Nope, not that way. The boiler's too hot to touch. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Why are you awake? Crispy critters, that's the wrong door. <laughs> Crispy critters is a favorite thing to say. Crispy quitters. Okay, uh, where was that opening that I saw? There it is. Oh, that's closed. Right. Are you open? Nope, these are all closed. Closed loop. Alright. Well, I guess we're going back in here. It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room and not over by the birch tree. All right, let me see. Right, there's one. Noted. We do this, and then we go up. And then slam dunk. Okay. Second one's all set. Oh, 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 you're, you're full power, huh? Yeah? That guy had full energy. Give me your parts. Give me this. Give me that one. Let's go back in here. Have a great night, Jen. Thank you for hanging out today. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is Got available. It. Anyone else complete mazes by going from the finish line first? Don't know why I do it that way, but I always have. Not that this is a very complex maze by any means, but yeah. No, I need you to come this way. There you go. And Space Jam. Well, oh, Jesus, you scared the hell out of me, man. What are you doing? This room has been cleared. All right, that's all done. Let's go uh, retrieve the heat resistant polymer canister. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? Uh, 
Sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? <sighs> What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Oh. Classic. Classic Terraform Mars. It's easy, guys. It's easy. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Um. Damn. That's nothing. I was hoping I could grab onto that. Looks like I must go here, though. Yeah, I gotta get there first. Yeah, right? Uh, hello? Okay, so... Um... Not what I wanted. Go away. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. Mm. I mean, the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. So I don't know how to get up on that specific uh, parts. The way it's all laid out, it, it doesn't really look like it's easily accessible. If you climb this, you get up there. You can't make that jump. I, mean, I guess I could try. It just doesn't look like we can make it. Literally just don't water the plants at Mars, dude. Easy? Yeah, exactly, Simon. It's easy. Just water the plants, forehead. It's easy. Yeah, I'm not making that jump. There's no way. No. So, um, hmm. You see, there's a chest up there that I want to get, but I just feel like maybe I need like a to unlock a, a higher jump or something. Maybe that's a thing. That's about all I got. So I guess for now we uh, we go. Hold on. Can I do this? Wait, wait a minute. What's this then? What's in the box, guys? All sorts of stuff, that's what. <laughs> do, do, do. There's that platform there. It doesn't really look usable by any reasonable means. So I guess that's pretty much it for now. I'm just really not finding a way to get this chest over here as much as I want it. Yeah, I got nothing for this. Okay, let's get out of here. What's up, John Stark? How you doing? Did I finish Hogwarts Legacy? I did. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a really fast break. I have to pee so, 
so much. So I'm going to go do that real quick. If you haven't already, leave a big like on the video for me, okay? And of course, if you are enjoying your stay here, make sure you subscribe. You know? Join us. Join the non-cults. All right? I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on, shall we? All right, plug it in, baby. All right, that's one out of four, right? There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. All right, we have to go to Algae Workshop now. Algae Workshop. Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? What the? A weird hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. What so the hell, it man? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. What the hell, man? What even is that? I see. I, I had a feeling I should have looked left before charging in that room. Okay. Wow. 
Last of Us meets Bioshock. Yeah. What's up, Misha? How's it going? Mutated Venus fly traps, yes. There's a lot of enemies here. Why'd that door just open up? Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Alright, that's the way right there. Hey, bud. As long as we take them out one at a time, we're going to be all right. The hard part is just maintaining that idea. You target the limbs of the bad guys? Yeah, you can take out limbs. Yep. There's two right here. Can I lure one of you at a time? Looks like I am. Jeez. Gorgeous. How many of you are there? Gorgeous. What's really interesting is if you get some of the neuropolymer on the ground, it'll and if you like shock them when they're in it, it seems to like reverb the shock damage back onto them even more so. Very interesting. I'm not sure if I use the word reverb properly there, but that's the word that came to mind. Okay, this is the this is the thing. There's three of them right there. This game looks decent. It's a good time so far. One of you see me. What's the music about? One of them's on fire. Ooh. Um, that was a thing. It's going well, Red Raptor. How are you? You're just going to accept your fate, huh? So what's the deal? Are you bugged or what? I think I bugged them out somehow. Strange. Okay. Um, well, I guess that'd be the first bug in the game, huh? He's planted there. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. All right, I'm not comfortable with these guys behind me, so let's take them out first. Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are going to be here? 
But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> right. Well, um... I mean, there's not much to figure out here, man. Hey! hey. Can, you, can you finish me off, please? What the? Just, just wait for a medic, okay? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can really do here, except for maybe this. Nope. Okay. I got nothing, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Let's see here. I knew this was going to send me for a bit of a loop. I knew it. There we go. Right on, Sawoozy. Right on, man. Geology robot. Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Yeah, I mean, that there's that benefit, right? Just climb through the window, man. It's easy. Yeah, that, that thing was a big ball, wasn't it? Fire cartridge. Please Fire cartridge for what? Is it the shotgun? No. Maybe the axe? None of the above. So I just found a part for a different gun that I haven't found yet. Maybe it's for the MP? I need more of this in order to actually craft it. Also, the fox is something I can put together too. Need more of metal parts. More metal parts needed. I'm assuming the fire cartridge is for the MP. That would make sense. Anyway, um, access granted. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Your glove can spray targets and surfaces with a jet of combat polymer once applied combat. Okay, we already know that. What is this specifically? Successive neuropolymer unit upgrades improve applied combat polymer's durability, increase the effect's duration, and then we have this over here. Applied to a target combat polymer affects nearby enemies. I like that. Let's put that on. Go back to character. 
Morning exercise increases running speed, second wind, additional dodge. I want the additional dodge. We mentioned that earlier. Increase your suit's laser resistance. Extra capacity cluster munitions. Cluster munitions get increased capacity. Hmm. Doesn't our power source the recirculation chamber? Lost health is recycled into energy. Element unavailable. Damn. Self concerning the neuropolymer shield that protects you from melee and range damage and redirects part of the neutralized projectile's energy into the recirculation chamber a powers reserve. Does not protect against critical attacks. Okay. Let's try it out. Defend against enemy attacks and instantly counterattack. I like that. Okay, so basically once the charge is through, it automatically closes itself off. Like, yeah. Interesting. Fading data. Access There's a cartridge guns tab. Let me check. Cartridge guns. Aha. Uh -huh. Sets the target on fire. Insuffi or sufficient resources. Okay. Let's just make one. Send to storage. Now, how would I go about using it? I'm confused. Please select the desired procedure. All right, I see. I see. Oh, man, I've got a lot of shotgun shells on me, don't I? Um... Cartridge slot gives the weapon it's in installed on elemental damage depending on the cartridge type. Fire, frost, or electricity. To install a cartridge, you need to get the appropriate upgrade for the selected weapon. Use the radio menu to select the ins select and install the cartridge. So what it's showing right there is the PM handgun. I don't have that yet. This also has a cartridge slot too. Please select the desired procedure. Didn't I get a thing on the axe as well? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the axe has one too. But how do I activate it? Did I miss that control? Okay, I see, right right mouse button is to put it on got it got it got it i see it got it got it now there seems to be a giant ball in this room I'm going. look at that guy I don't know what the hell just burned my toes there, but, uh, yeah. What the hell is happening here? Oh! Where do you That's think not what I wanted to do. Be? What's up, T-Morts? Where do you think the canister might be? A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. <sighs> Let's go find it. Yeah, come on over, dude. Are you guys just stuck in the polymer? What's going on here? What the shit?
Right. There you go. There you go, dude. Alright, that can take us all the way up there. We can jump out right there and maybe get up there, though. Crap, there's no canister here. Uh -oh. I'm sure we can find one here somewhere. We found the dispenser. Now we gotta find a goddamn canister. Hey bud, come on over. T Morts, thank you for the gifted membership to Morning Iron. I really appreciate the gifted and uh, the gifted sub, man. The gifted member, rather. It's very cool of you, dude. Thank you for doing that. Let's see those cold emotes out there for T Morts and Iron. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting my channel in that way, man. Find a bigger gun? A gun? I mean, I'm using a gun that doesn't use ammo. That's that. I guess it's weak, but it does just fine right now. Not what I wanted to do. Southern, thank you for a whole year of membership here as well. Almost forgot to do this. GG's. Hey, GG's, Southern. Thank you for the continued membership support here as well. It means a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Team Orts. It's very cool of you to do. Thank you for the support. <laughs> no, Greybeard. It's polymer. Just like all this stuff here, it's polymer. You can spray it on enemies and amplifies elemental damage that we can do. this canister work judging from its shape and diameter indeed i'm playing on hard mode bryce hard difficulty okay so what was with that ball that was bouncing around i haven't seen it since I wonder can we fight these guys okay i have to see if we can fight those guys too No better time than now to learn how to fight them. Are you evil? Can I sneak up on you? I cannot sneak up on them. Are you mad? Are you friendly? All right, looks like they're friendly. I just kind of assumed by the color of their eyes they were going to get real mad at me. How much shotgun ammo do I have? Oh, we got some pretty sufficient shotgun ammo. That's good. Holding on to it in case we encounter something big. Something big. Game is like Bioshock, yeah. If you like Bioshock, you'll like this too. I'm sorry. Canister detected. Synthesizing aluminum polymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. What? 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then. 
We hop in this polymer, swim up it this way. Where's the two robots win girls? We saw them towards the beginning of the game. Yeah, there we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? What are you doing I here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Come over here. Here. Ah, when you're in the polymer, it's so creepy. Wait, what the hell? Why? I am confused. What? I can't actually interact with it at all. Um, did I break it? I feel like I broke it. Like, I can't actually interact with this whatsoever. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good time, Redneck. Yeah, I'm not sure what just happened, but... Oh, now I can interact with it. There we go. All right, so it, it's, I think it might be timed. I got to figure out how to actually Excellent. do things with that. I didn't expect this. Yeah, and I can't interact with it again. So it's timed on that too. Bzorp. Bzorp. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access. Gotta wait again. So I'm just gonna stay up here when I press this and see what happens in my vicinity here. Because I didn't really see anything the other two times. Wow. How did I not see that? How did I not see this right in front of my face? All right. And now that makes sense. It also makes sense why I couldn't really hit that button for a while. Yeah. It blends in with the floor. Yeah, like I just did not see that at all. That was awkward. We got to be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. And those we just clearly zap. Why does your thumbnail say part four? Um, it worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. What? Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated. Cyber, try the um, try refreshing the page or something, because <laughs> this is part one. I have the Atomic Heart thumbnail on. I'm looking at it right now. Hey, Esther, how you doing? Overclock it, baby. Not gonna lie, I was not paying attention there.
the hell's where'd you come from you're new why can't this lousy goddamn cable car go any faster? No one foresaw this particular turn of events. It was a rhetorical Dash question, jumping. Chuck. Yes. Go away. Oh, that actually hits me. Okay, I'm sad gonna take this moment to kind of take out as many of these enemies as we can while we're just chilling waiting for this uh charge god this thing is a really slow charge okay let me just go for now i guess all right those don't open yet Okay. Oh, are you? Dude, where's the audio? I didn't even hear these guys pop out at me. Excuse me? Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Johnny. Oh, <laughs> okay. Man, if I had known those guys were going to pop out, then I would have known. Uh, to look for them. I guess uh, what we need to be aware of is these doors specifically will have some of these bad guys in them. Just need to uh, be aware of that. Gorgeous. See on the YouTube phone app has Wild Hearts Part 4 as the thumbnail. Yeah, that's not right at all because that's not what I have set as the thumbnail. I would just say that YouTube is a bit, a uh, bit bugged on that regard right now, I guess. Man, I just used so many healings there. That really sucks. Motor. No, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Snap. Oh no! Okay, well, at least I'm in the polymer, I guess. Well, that really sucked. That's not what I wanted. Am I really have to go all the way around again? I guess so. That really blows, dude. <laughs> okay. What's up, May? Bro, that's the worst. You guys want to go around again? Come with me. It's fine. 
Come with me. Good news is we'll be able to clear out the other uh, flying enemies that are out about. Hey, how about overclocking this damn platform? Thoughts? I just spent a good minute looking for my drink, which is in my other hands. Been there. Yeah, right, Aqualine, if there was any time to use the bathroom, now is the time. If you want to go get some snacks, guys, uh, go do that now. Uh, perfect time for it, you know? You got a bit of a break here. It looks based on the, uh, the, the amount of time we're spending moving around this. You've got another two minutes before we get over there, if not a little more. Did that miss? No, I hit it. Very good. some awkward pacing it's my fault for falling off they pace it specifically like this so that way your uh, your shock can you know come back before you get to the next platform here and have to overclock it so it's it's my fault for falling off i didn't mean to fall off but i did so ultimately it's on me is there action music now because there was some enemies afoot this is an action sequence but all the enemies are dead now i believe I wonder if there's more underneath me here that I just can't see. Maybe underneath these platforms. So I did see they were going under these platforms down below too. the game good i'm enjoying it so far just like i've been saying if you enjoy bioshock you'll likely enjoy this as well it's definitely up that uh that line of game all around, chillers buzzing in the distance. How romantic. I know there's a couple more of these enemies Surely around. Blazing isn't always the best approach, Major. Sure, sometimes you can try upgrading your gear or find another way to keep the bots at bay. Damn it. I'm out of juice. Oh, I can't actually pick it up yet. You can collect the canister now. The twofer. 
How's the game so far? No issues or bugs so far. Uh, I have had like one one bug where the uh, one of the enemies or two of the enemies were just standing still. They weren't attacking me. But outside of that, it's been really good. And as you can see, the performance is really great as well. Graphically, it's very nice. And you can see the performance in the top right of my screen. The frames are pretty great. It ranges anywhere, depending on the environments, anywhere from like 99 all the way up to 240. Who was that? Who said that? You. Hey, what's up, pun? How you doing, man? All right. I would say hello to uh, the robotic version of me. This is what I look like in real life, except less robotic. Imagine this with flesh on it. That's me. Say hello. Yeah, uh, the performance of the game has been great. Um, the gameplay has been fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a genuinely good time. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you right on, Zyver. I assume it's just a YouTube bug, man. Said. Did the cat get your tongue? Oh, you know what it could be do as well? Dr. Larissa it could be Falatova, cookies related. MD if you clear your cookies, it might fix up. Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of collective That's what it was last time. With good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science. An esteemed neurosurgeon. And one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Falatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Attention. Distribution center employee. Performance is great, pun. You can see the the, uh, the FPS counter in the top right of the screen. It's really great. I'm playing on max settings across the board as well. And I have DLSS uh, quality on. So it's making it even even sharper. What's this then? Medium Neuromed Capsule. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Consumables. Medium Neuromed Capsules. Immediately recovers 100 health. Hmm. Very good. I don't have a whole lot of the uh, chemistry stuff, though. That's an issue. A bit of a problem. Still didn't pick that up. Uh, let me think. Access granted. Let's go here. I have 67. Increases effective range, deals more damage, and pushes back enemies. Let's get that. Let's get that one. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock, but there's something wrong with this sprout. Oh, there's glass right here. Well, you know they keep that window real clean. A killer chicken. What? Now I've seen it all. Uh... Evil! It's on Steam? Yeah. It's on Steam and Game Pass. 
attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Hey, guys. You hungry? I think they're a little hungry. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big... Right. Attached files as well. Jeez. Okay, that is all closed off, so we go through the vents. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff. Among other things, yes. Hey guys, thank you for 500 likes on the video. I appreciate it. Subjects, from primitive thank you for coming in and hitting that like button. It helps me out a ton. And other animals. It helps me out a ton. I really appreciate it, guys. What the hell is even that? Are you still... Ah. Well, I guess that's the way of it, isn't it? Well, the good news is, is because of these are being, uh, you know, biomatter, we're gonna get a ton of biomaterials from them. neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. The twofer. I'm doing that a lot in this game, aren't I? I missed. Hey, come here. You know what? You know what, chicken? You get to keep doing your thing. I'm not, I'm not one. I'm not going to get in your way. All right. I'm not going to stop the chicken from living its life. You do you, man. I played Weird West? I did, Chris. Yeah, it was all right. But wait, there's more. Come here. Uh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. That's what I'm saying. The chicken's hungry. The chicken's got to eat too, man. Just, just let it be, guys. Okay? Just, just let it do its thing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What does this do? Oh. Me? The computer. Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Now see, this is just flat out cruel. Uh, yes, it's much better. Opera is doing wonders for me. Definitely. So, on with my life. Day 783. Ah, yes. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this... What? ...circle of life, as they call it. But then I realized there's something of an art form to it. 
circle of life indeed. It's spinning. Why do they even have to investigate? should do the trick. Our superiors think that propaganda increases productivity. <laughs> so to them, their employees are nothing but mindless swine, like these animals. Yeah, well, this is the animals attached. Just maintaining the circle of life. <laughs> you know what, Oliver? Even if we are just swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm awful sorry for you. I truly am. God knows it's true. You died a hero's death. I may be thinking about building a little memorial. I promise I will. Sometimes I think that when put to classical music, the convulsions themselves become a kind of dance of death. After all, new pigs keep being born, and yet the same pig keeps on dying. I can't be right. <gasps> no, what Holy did I fuck. do? Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? No! To the algae workshop <laughs> to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. Well, <laughs> cow blender, yeah, <laughs> Jesus, dude. All right, that was not an expected result. Uh, oof. Well, hey, this one made it. Good job, man. That's not what I wanted to happen there, nor what I expected. But it is what it is. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. <clears throat> um, whoops. Sorry. So earlier, these were the things that spit out the, uh, the things that are, like, becoming the, um, the plant humanoid things. So I'm just gonna go around killing all of them while I'm here. I feel like there's going to be a big fight here, and so I, uh, you know, just kind of getting ahead of the matter. You know? Just getting ahead of the matter. Jump. I can't jump there. Yeah, that, that's a great way to look at it, Vector. Yes. <laughs> Alright, just one more over here. Let's get it. Give me the biomaterial, thank you. Hey, look at that. Box. Would you look at it? Just look at it, dude. Hey. Oh, I forgot one right there. All right, so in the future, we know it takes five electro handgun thing sh uh, hits to kill them. Didn't realize I missed one right there. Shit. 
Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Okay, two right there. Easy. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Oh, now all these things are spawning anyway. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Oh, you see? Yeah, this, this is what I feared right here. you come from let me get these biomaterials thank you what's up octopus I can hear something squishing about. There you are. Come here. How dare you? Do 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 do. supposed to do the canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop the fans blow cold air into the room they need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades uh, why the fuck didn't you tell me that before shit the yeah. fan turned off try using shock to restart it If I had known that from the get-go, I would have never let them do that. Oh my god. How dare you. I'm electrocuting myself by doing this. Not exactly brilliant. Okay, uh, well, let's restart this again. I guess I'm just going to focus on taking these things out of the sky. But also, there's you. Let me take the rest of these enemies out first. Gun is so weak, it's ridiculous, but hey, it's free, so there's that. Come on, power. There we go. Can you stop dashing at me? No, 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 no. How dare you? How dare you? 
Assimilation procedure interrupted. Look at that, guys. Achievement. Look at that! God damn it, these things. Shock is on cooldown, man. <clears throat> okay, that just went through the ceiling, so that's not great. Wrong button. But it's fine. It actually just worked because it hit me. There's so damn many. You're all the worst, man. We missed that. Play for now is to just kind of take all these things out and then uh, restart it all again afterward. Ouch. There's a lot of biomaterial everywhere as well as a neuropolymer, so we may as well take all that for free too. Shock. Saved. Oh God, there's you. What are you doing there, man? Jerks. Come on, shock. Hey, you don't say. Finally, data saved. Attention, access to the pesticide workshop is now available. All right, guys, what do you say we go around finishing everything off, grabbing all this neuropolymer and uh, biomaterial from everything? Yeah, that's a lot of resources for free, man. Look at all this. My God. Wait, who's talking? Oh, it's you. Look at it all, man. Uh, yeah, that that got uh, very busy. Yeah. 
I got very busy. <gasps> they killed me. They killed my robot, my robot self. How dare they? barely miss any shots hey thanks for noticing i i i have a big history in uh, fps games grew up playing things like counter-strike played a lot of uh things like battlefield call of duty all sorts of different battle royales survival games all that stuff great community here i agree thanks for being a part of it terry Are you polymerize? Always. Always, dude. All right, I think we got the majority of this stuff. Ah, there's a whole bunch. I would just like guys like the the gamer inside of me would feel very bad if I just left this room without collecting all this stuff. I would feel terrible knowing that all these materials are just sitting here doing nothing. These bodies are dancing around. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Access Let's see about granted. this. 165 neuropolymer after that. Hell yeah. And that's why we grabbed it, guys. Look at all that. That's free upgrades right there. Electrified targets receive increased damage. Yes, because that like if I shock them, then I just do more damage automatically. That's good. Reduces shock cooldown. Oh my god, big what's this one repeated attacks apply an additional electrified effect and break low hp polymerized enemies into pieces interesting i sure love these goddamn canisters of yours you guys never get sick of shoving them into things well it's a tradition yeah well maybe <laughs> you should think about reevaluating your traditions if i see one more canister Funny when they're damaged. Wow, you don't say. Finally. Oh, seem to have lost something, sir. I did not mean to do that. Why did he stop? Why did he just randomly stop moving? That was weird. Something about hitting a barrel with an axe doesn't seem like a good idea. Like a metal canister barrel, that is. man's all cheeked up look at him look at him my god 
These robots work out, huh? Oh, okay, that hurt. I guess that's how they deliver those nasty drop kicks, huh? Did his hip thrust? Yeah, man. Yeah, that combo is highly effective. All right, I see that over there, but what's in this room? I guess it just goes around. All right. Oh shit. That's a big man. got some recoil on it absorb okay so I was gonna load up the fire canister there but I don't see the option for it there now I guess I just gotta learn more about that Be snappy. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something <laughs> dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Please. Dragonflies? Crispy critters. Every time. Every time. <laughs> nice mustache the robot has? Yeah, dude. I agree. Well, the shotgun really messes them up, but I don't want to just burn through all this ammo, so let's not get crazy about it, huh? I don't even know what's over this way. I'm just going this way because it was a path. I really do feel like I should turn around. What's up, Andrew? How you doing, man? I recognize these doors. Okay. Let's go back this way. Sneaky pandas here as well. Ah, oh, shit. Time to go. <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? 
farm life taxing exhausting work man no doubt I have to imagine there's a certain level of gratification when it, uh, the process is all done though right when you see the results of your work when you dash up the stairs it causes the character to trip did you see that I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now. He told me to be quiet, and now he's yelling. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder. Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed. Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You... Authorization. Right. Hey, uh, we can make the MP, should we? Or should we make the fox? We can make one or the other. Do we want an axe or a pistol? Seeing more axes than pistols so far. You guys want to see the axe? Let's do the axe. Would you look at that? Well, damn. All right, let's uh, take a peek here. Major. Upgrade Fox. So the attack speed is higher than the Swede. The range is a little bit lower. The charge damage is higher. The charge speed is higher. Interesting. Okay, we got Steel Blade. We got Crushing Blow. Cartridge module. Let's throw that on. Ergonomic handle. We have to find that yet. Let's go see what this thing can do. Shall we? Hold on. Did I save? Let me save. Fading data. That guy's still losing his mind. Have a good night, Bren. Thanks for hanging out tonight, man. Rucksack is overloaded. Hmm. That can't be good. Surely, if we just ignore the problem, it'll go away, right? That's how it works. Right, guys? You ignore the problem, and the problem goes away. Surely.
Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... What? <laughs> I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. Uh... They'll probably cremate you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip. Huh. Okay, it's, it, keep, it keeps saying we're overloaded, but I just, uh, you know, I just don't believe it. Yeah, that was uh, a much faster charge on the heavy attack. That's rather nice, actually. Right, there's that container there, but let me go ahead and clear everything out first. The noises have me on edge there. Ah, there you are. Rucksack is overloaded. You're overloaded. Shut up. say did I not hit it there it goes okay um so how am I getting up there before I activate this I'm going up and dealing this with all this other stuff is the first yellow cylinder we're looking for are you shitting me there should be a smaller one around here somewhere sure fucking hope so there's nothing else here whatever We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. Now, it ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. It be Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here. Use telekinesis to move platforms. Remember, you can't move a platform that you're standing on. Including yeah, that us. makes sense. That does indeed make sense. Suspended electromagnetic platforms, control panels all over the shop. <laughs> Some system they got here. What fuckwad came up with all this shit? <laughs> Akio, yeah. Akio. Does this feel like a true next-gen game? Uh, I can't really say, Tyler. I mean, I'm playing on PC, so it, it's kind of hard for me to judge that, I guess. I mean, I will say that graphically, it's very nice. It runs very, very well. I'm enjoying the gameplay. Uh, I will say, I don't think the gameplay is amazing, but I am enjoying it, right? Like, if you're into games like Bioshock and Prey and... Uh, what else is kind of like that? System Shock, stuff like that, then you'll like this. Parkour is identical to Dying Light. No, it's not. There is no, like, sliding and jumping off of sliding and stuff like that. That's not true. <laughs> it's simply not it, man. No. Climbing? I mean, the climbing was done before Dying Light. Do, 
to buy a laptop that's compatible with pc any suggestions they say macbook is useless macbook isn't great for gaming but i wouldn't say useless um as far as like if you want to play pc gaming if it's possible i would prioritize getting a proper desktop just because you're going to pay a lot less overall for higher performance if you want your dollar to really do well then you want to make sure you get a desktop not a laptop for gaming for sure save yourself a lot of uh, a lot of potential grief in that regard macbooks are great for editing yeah they're they're decent for editing like you know videos and music stuff like that but for gaming i really would not bother i didn't mean to do that i gotta wait for this to go away now I pressed E instead of F. Desktop you can upgrade easily too. Yeah, a desktop will go a lot longer in general. It just, it's the way. Trying to get a laptop to play PC and practice digital arts. Uh, Whitney, is, is that something that you're going to be doing outside of your home? Is that what you're saying? If you're doing that it outside of your home, I, I definitely understand. 8%. And if, if that's the way of it, then, you know, it is the way of it. Um, shoot, what do I do here? Well, I guess I'm just going to turn that and uh, see if it can push it, I guess. I don't really know what else to do. If you're doing inside of your home. If you're doing inside of your home, again, I would recommend desktop. If you're if you're doing it at your house, then desktop is definitely the way. Because you, everything your desktop, your, everything a laptop can do, a desktop can do better. Except for being mobile. That's the only difference. Pesticide level decreased. Now at 6%. We need to hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. Uh, okay. Well, oh, I see. I see what I just did. Now I see. Let him cook. I don't know why it keeps giving me this. Oh, shoot. Now I know why it keeps giving it to me because I suck. But yeah, if you're doing it inside of your home, I would recommend uh, getting a desktop. But if you really do want a laptop, then I mean, ultimately, the only thing you can really do is just kind of do a little research on what exactly the, the type of power that you feel you're going to need for the specifically the digital arts. If that's like going to be something you're turning into a career or if it is already your career. Or if it's just a passion either way it just depends on the amount of power you want to have involved with that pesticide level decreased now at four percent uh oh situation is critical where's that guy with the pump did he quit or something and then from there like what is likely going to turn into is I've, I've never really thought about it until now but i don't I don't really know anyone that's ever built a laptop. You just kind of get one that's pre-built. Um, okay, I can't do anything there. So there's a lot of websites out there that can, you know, assist you with that. But just keep in mind that bang for buck, uh, laptop is just not as good as desktop. And if you're doing it from home, then that's just, it's a much safer bet for getting more out of your dollar. You know, iMac, if you're thinking about a Mac, then uh, as far as gaming goes, you're going to struggle because most games are not compatible compatible with Mac, even even now. All right, what am I doing here? I can't move this.
Like, this thing is in the way. Oh, no, it's not. What am I on about? No, it's not. Then why can't I move it forward? Am I pressing the wrong button? Maybe it needs to be pressed backwards. Maybe it's technically facing backwards here. No. Yeah, only like the very, very big games get uh, ported to, to Mac. Like the very big ones. Hit the top button? I mean, I am. You see how the top button's getting pushed down here? Nothing happens. A $1,500 PC is more powerful than a $2,500 laptop? 99% of the time, yes. Oh, you know what? I see why now. It's because I didn't turn this. Stupid. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. Jack, call me an idiot, please. Say, hey, idiot. You seem like a pretty smart fella. Hey, thanks. Dude, I love, I love how I requested for you guys to insult me, and not a single one of you did. Not a single one of you. That's something, man. I'm proud of you. What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. What's up, Mythic Blue? That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. Yeah, Jen, Jen did try, yes. Soon we're toast. <laughs> Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Oh, wait, Shit. hold on. Not I see like Greybeard said idiot. It. Oh. We were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. Sad. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it. Hang on! God damn it. You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No. Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Yeah. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov. Skills, experiments, and unique experience. You can reset skills and redistribute the return neuropolymer to use a... Use other skills if you get tired of the old ones or want to change your play style. You won't be punished with fines or penalties, so feel free to experiment. Right on. 
Does it mean the dialogue suck? I mean, I feel like everyone says that about literally every game to exist anymore. So I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of over judging dialogue and just embracing the experience, just having fun with it. Access granted. Seems like every single game, no matter how good or bad, everyone says the same thing. The dialogue sucks. What's up, Elgernon? Who's this streamer? I don't know. Never heard of him. Hold on, what was that? Was that splitting blow? Also boosting the weapons interface module reduces the time required to repair a powerful blow. Upgrade. I just kind of, I just kind of see it, you know, being what it is. You either enjoy the game or you don't, and uh, I'm having fun here, so sounds good to me. You know? Has the music been this loud throughout the whole game? No. It was just that moment. Hey, I guess my inventory is not overloaded anymore. Um, I guess we should kind of put this away, right? I don't need that axe anymore, right? Playing on hard difficulty? Yeah. Even that. Oh, the door closed. Toxic. Large mutants. on now okay I'm, I'm very dead never mind I escaped ha I live bitch Come on, get out. Damn. 
Okay, you. Just you and me now, huh? Once I killed those glowing pods on his back, it was game over. Bit of a boss fight there, guys. I wasn't prepared. Ah, I never killed that one. What the shit, man? There you go. Ah, there you are. Another one around that I'm not seeing currently. I feel like there's gotta be, right? No? Okay, we're finally good. I kind of missed the uh, the big zap there, but it's fine. Mean Durfy, have a good night, man. And no, trust me when I say like uh, when when I the way I say things is like. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, and everyone's going to have their opinion no matter, you know, no matter what anyone else says, right? That's the nature of it. I expect that. But I just feel like everyone's opinion on everything new is just <laughs> the same. You know, it just seems like it's always the same. Oh, it's a new game? Bad dialogue. I don't mean to overly generalize the situation, but that's just like, that, that's the same thing every single game anymore. And I feel like it's a fair point to point that out to, you know? Oh, that kind of scared me. How dare you call us generic? <laughs> Nimrod, yeah. We got into a bit of a, a bit of a boss fight. They used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol. Hi-Fi Rush is funny dialogue. Yeah, but I, I even got comments on that saying, oh my god, the dialogue days. is so cringe. So every other day you gotta run I got it with that. I got it with uh, Forspoken. Get it with this game. Ass. Got it with Dead Space. Even though most of Dead Space's dialogue was, you know, the same. Canister from the pesticide out, workshop. Temperature has been restored. And so that's why I bring it up. I just feel like it's like one of the first things people say about any new game, you know? I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated 
and the birch tree has returned to normal. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. That's exactly what I said, Full Metal Owl. When people were saying Forspoken had cringy dialogue, I asked them if they were also fans of Resident Evil. And if they said yes, then I would say, Charles, then you should be a fan of this game just fine. But at least the dialogue, the anyway. Circumstances. <laughs> Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or Let something. Let me out! Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Right. Longest elevator of my life? Elgernon, thank you for the two dollar super chat. It says milk turtle. Thank you for the two, dude. Thank you for the two. Um... Oh, the lighting just changed. There we go. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename Pete. I need guns and lots of them. Uh. Well, I guess we'll check the shotgun out. I never got the magazine for it. Muzzle break. Increases damage, reduces recoil. This just reduces recoil. Well, I feel like we throw that on. I don't have enough resources. I need 13 metal parts. Damn. I feel like metal parts and chemistry are the ones holding me out the most out of upgrades. Unfortunate. Well, let me see so, uh, how much polymer stuff. 170 after that. Repeated attacks apply an additional electrified effect and break low HP polymerized enemies into pieces. What's this side? Upgrade to the electromagnetic unit that increases effective range. The music, man. Part of the discharge bounces and deals damage to an additional target. Ooh, chain lightning. Ooh. Chain lightning can hit one additional target. Ooh, exactly 75. All right, my shock is just about uh, maxed out. We have two abilities that are left. Secondary targets hit by chain lightning receive full damage. Damn. Oh my God. All right. I want to get cryo stuff as well, but... The lightning is serving me well, you know? Anyways, let's make a save. And guys, we're going to go ahead and call it a night here. I'm going to call it a night here.
If you haven't already, leave a like on the video. And of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you guys, uh, thank you guys for 35,000 subscribers on the channel. I really appreciate it. We just hit that today. That's huge. Thank you very much for becoming a part of our community. Now, uh, something else. Over the last, over the last uh, few days, you guys saw that I was not streaming. I just kind of took a bit of a break for a few days before this game came out. And, uh... For the first time ever in that in that period, my channel hits 100,000 total views in a 48 hour period for the first time ever. That's kind of nuts. Now, that's largely because a few, uh, a very select few of my videos are doing very, very well. Uh, a couple past streams as well as some of my older videos as far as certain like certain compilations of highlights of like Elden Ring boss fights and stuff like that. I hope to basically continue this trend forward with other games too. And so what I ask of you guys, if you haven't already, go on my channel and watch some playlists of other other uh, other games. If you watch the stream today and you enjoy the stream today, then you'll enjoy my videos and past streams of other games too, whether it's Elden Ring or the plethora of other games I played on my channel in general. If you want some more stuff to watch, I've got I've got you covered on my channel, okay? Go check out some stuff. Now I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat some food and hang out with wife until she goes to sleep. Sound good, dudes? Thank you for uh, allowing me the freedom to kind of get my mental back in a good place over the last few days and then being able to return today and just have a great time with you guys. I really appreciate your company. Thank you for supporting what I do. It means a hell of a lot. Anyways, I'm out of here for now. I'll be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time to check out more of this game. I'm having a good time with it so far. Very Bioshock-esque, and I like that a lot. Anyways, folks, thank you for chilling. Much love to you all. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you soon.